Right, hello again. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things here. So the main one's going to be a bit of UK, but I'm going to just do one of the leagues I'm in, which is 20 seconds per round. So it'll be a quick kind of intro, really. Um, played two at the top at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's quite luck dependent, so could go either way. Let's see. Right, this one Ooh, going a bit slow. Should be US and it should be like Montana. Somewhere like that. Again, computer's being a bit slow. Oh well, it's actually South Dakota, but right idea. Um I'm a bit worried about the fact that it's not responding too quickly, but um, yeah, that could hamper me because in 20 seconds per round, that kind of thing counts for a lot. So I normally play it on my other computer, which is much faster. So that's better for um, timed games and stuff. This is fine for no moving and stuff like that. But if I need to move quickly, then this isn't quite up to it. Anyway, next one is kind of kind of Canadian looking to me. Those street signs might not be, but uh, could be wrong. I'm actually going to change my mind. I'm going to go further south. Okay, well I was right to change my mind, but yeah, not too. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse, really. So, yeah, the movement didn't seem great, so I'm slightly worried. Right, this one is... Oh, man. That's insanely hard. I feel like the sun's up in the north. Oh, shit. Oh, I messed up. I wanted to go on Chiloé or something. Oh, it was Chiloé. Isla Grande de Chiloé. Okay, well, the fact that my computer was lagging a bit made me miss that one. I would have got much closer even. But I will take that. Um, next one. Really tough not being able to move very well. This is a strange one. I want to go in Malaysia maybe. Could be on the other side. Uh, don't have much time to look around or see what side of the road we're on. Was it even? Yeah, it was Malaysia. Cool. Right, I'm in the lead after four rounds, so that's a good sign. Next one. Somewhere in the US. That is not particularly easy to work out at the moment. I'm going to kind of, ooh, got a bit of French there. So I might go for Quebec. Nice. Right, for 20 seconds per round with a slightly unresponsive computer, that's not, uh, well, no, that's good. That is good. Um, the ones in North America were kind of I mean, it's massive, so those distances are kind of, they never flatter you in terms of points. And that one I should have got closer, but my computer wasn't responding too well. So I will take it back to what I originally intended to do, which was just a bit of UK. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go for a perfect. I'm just going to maybe have a little bit of a, mess around. I might just time it at three minutes or something like that. This map's better than the official one by the way. The official one is full of repeats. Um, so I'll see what I can do with two and a half minutes. There'll probably be somewhere I can't find a good clue and I get terrible scores but 
and I hope I can move around fairly easily but I'm not going to rush it too much I'm just going to enjoy myself a bit right this one's very rural I'm going to go south really hard to guess in the UK based on landscape because it's all fairly uh, uniform I mean it's, to an extent obviously Scotland looks kind of different and you have things you can use but something like this could be it could be several places but hopefully you end up on a decent road and so that says Somerset so that's that is our saviour I would say so I guess that's kind of this area um, right time is moving fairly quickly so I'm gonna oh there we go let's get a look at this sign just whoop. Where's it gone? Right, Sherton, Comwich, Cannington, Bridgewater. Bridgewater, okay, so that's south, seven miles. Cannington is also in the same direction, so Sherton. Okay, it was somewhere like here, I would say. Cannington. Yeah, we should. Maybe on this one. And we came sat. Let's work out which uh, which junction we're at at the moment. So this bit is going kind of north and coming around west, and this bit so it's a bit of a Y shape. Um, could be that. Do we come down something like that? I retrace it I mean I'm pretty much out of time so I'm not going to worry too much about I think that's close enough probably so I let, let's see let's see yeah it was actually I went a bit too far up but we'll take that okay right Um, so that's that's not a bad start let's go to round two also bear in mind you drop more points when it's just a UK map than you would if this came up on the world map because the threshold for getting 5k is different so that would have been about 4999 on a world map but yeah I guess you do have to be quite precise if you're just playing one country otherwise it's kind of pointless I'm struggling to get out of here. Let's get onto this road and then head north. Right. Hopefully, I can find something on a decent road, I would say. Actually, it's not amazing. Riley construction and somewhere like this in the UK you never have to move too far it's more about kind of looking around carefully and the clue should be there somewhere so maybe on some of these shops or something it'll say something bus stop Southlands Post Office. Damn. Should that ring a bell? Did that say Brighton College like that? Yeah, it did. So, that has saved my neck, I would say. Southlands, I'm not sure about. Could be some. Anyway, uh, 
don't think I've got that much time left to pinpoint so and it's just moved me somewhere which is not helping at all so yeah in the 10 seconds I've got I'm not going to get very close I'm just going to have to where could Southlands be? Ah, all the way over there oh there it is Shoreham okay well um, yeah I only had the one clue to go with really so I couldn't do too much about that right this one yeah I'm not really able to move that well so it's not helping but and to be honest that's why I've been doing a lot of no moving games recently because trying to record on this while moving around hasn't worked too well but not to worry I will sort out my technical problems right this one feels slightly worrying just feel like if I carry on this way we'll kind of end up going fairly rural yeah but I don't really know what else to do so I'm just gonna carry on I'm sure there'll be one round here where I get a good couple of hundred miles away this looks like it might be it I don't really know what clues I'm about to find no that's not um, that's not quite the ticket to go the other way I can't remember which way I went there's a van here maybe that will help no right I've got a minute left and I'm none the wiser Dutton Utilities let's go this way yeah this seems like this would have been the sensible way to go at the start it's really not loading that quickly but Ah, yep, yeah, the time is ticking. Bradwall means nothing to me. Yeah, I've got no idea where this is. It's really hard to. Just hard to guess without any clues. Um, oh, oh, God, where am I? Oh, no, I'm about to guess in the wrong country. Oof. Okay, we're up near Stoke on Trent. Bradwell's there. Right, not much I could do there. Hopefully, this one will be better. Hopefully, it'll put me in a nice spot with signs and stuff. No, no, no. It's putting me in the most rural place in the whole country. That castle's interesting. Uh, I wonder if this could be Scotland. Um, that would be my guess. I'm not really sure how easy it's going to be to. That's pretty cool. It's quite Scottish, isn't it? Northern Ireland potentially, but ah, oh, see, out of out of moving room there. So this one could be a bit of a nightmare. Let's just. I'll probably do another video soon of a UK perfect score. This one's just a bit of a mess around. There's a lot of water around. But again, we're um, not really able to move. Yeah, it's it's not really letting me do much. So I'm. may go somewhere like that 
not too mountainous but yeah let's just see oh no oh I should know that Lindisfarne damn I should know this part of the world fairly well but there is some really cool stuff on this bit of coast but I just didn't recognize that at all it did seem quite flat bits of it for, for, for that bit of Scotland damn it well I need to uh, need to do something decent in this last round to make it anything but embarrassing Kings Avenue, Greenford. Welcome to Ealing. Oh no, it doesn't say welcome to, I just made that up. I'm saying welcome to Ealing. Right, so that is a borough of London that is roughly here, yeah. yeah. So Greenford must be Greenford is there apparently, so let's Have a quick look, see if I can spot Kings Avenue. Kings Avenue is there, so we've come out probably on this side, so that should be Allenby Road. Yeah, so where do we start? So there is a, okay, there's a road that comes off here and that is just to the north and it's called Bassett Way, right. That'll be that one, so we're about here. Let's just see how many houses there were between, so I guess that's kind of semi-detached so one that's a block of three and that's kind of similar where do we start then right so we're actually more like there I would say there that's my best guess right so a bit of a mixed bag a few pretty close and then a couple of stabs in the dark that weren't particularly great but I guess that says a lot about how hard it is to guess in the UK without any clues um, because I don't know different areas can kind of look the same anyway hopefully that game at the start was uh, also pretty in pretty interesting um, yeah I'll do a better UK game at some point but I just fancied a kind of an explore haven't played it for a while. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.